one. Hey guys, what's up? It's me back with another video, 70 Pokemaster, and... Yeah, Ethan LaVoy, uh, here again. So, what are we doing today, Ethan? Uh, well, we're gonna show you Paul's, uh, level X cards, and about three of those level X cards he's gonna show you are mine, but most of them are his, of course. Only three are mine. Uh, yeah. Um... But, um, we're gonna get started here. So I'll start off just from the back here because most of my better cards are in the front. So let's just do this. Boop! Alright. So the first level X here we have is. Oh, by the way, guys, um, Ethan's gonna give his opinion on the card once we're done because we want Ethan to be a part of this, right? Yeah. Okay. So first level X we have up is Dark Cry level X. He's pretty awesome. He's got a Endless Darkness with a 40 damage and he does. Uh. He def he defends Pokemon if you if you put two darkness energies on him, so he's pretty awesome. So Ethan, what do you think of this Darkrai level X? Uh, actually, the Darkrai level X. Um, back when we were in third fourth grade, uh, our friend Mikey Birdium had a Darkrai level X, and we all really wanted it. And I ended up getting it right after Paul did. So that card was tossed around a lot between three uh for, um, three kids. Yeah. Alright guys, the next card we have up is the Raichu level X. Now I got this from this kid named Colin, and it's pretty beat up, but um, this was one of my favorite cards because Raichu is just really cool because he's an upgrade from Pikachu. And um, he actually does a Voltage Shock with two Link Lightning Energies, and he does 80 damage to that Pokemon. So he's a very nice card, and he's actually really powerful. So Ethan, what do you give a rating on the Raichu? Well, the Raichu level X is a very good card, of course. Uh, we actually, me and Paul, used to share a Raichu level X, but of course, we don't know where the fuck that went. <laughs> yeah, no, that that was gone. Alright, guys, so this next card is in awful freaking condition. It's from this weird kid named Russell, and he gave us, or he gave me this Galade. Russell? What? Russell Cooper? <laughs> yeah. What the frick? I know. Alright, here we go, guys. We have... Glade level X. Now, Glade level X is not just a regular level X. This level X is pretty sick. So, he does an aimed cut, and if you put a Cyclone energy him, he does 40 damage plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on the defending Pokemon. So, if that Pokemon has a damage uh, counter, and if uh, Glade has a Cyclone energy, he can actually do 10 extra damage. So, in all, he does 50 damage. He's a decent Pokemon, and he does some other cool power-ups. So, um, Ethan, what do you think Glade is good? Well, I actually have a level X I'm sending out to primetime Pokemon. And, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know. I mean, what the fuck did I just say? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I like the Glade level X. That's all I can really say. I mean, it's not the best level X. It's definitely not the best, but it's a level X, so level X's are all pretty good. Alright, yes, guys. So, the next level X we have up is the Garchomp level X. This was actually my first level X, but this is not the original first. The first I, level X I ever got, I gave to Primetime Pokemon, and he never opened it. I don't know if I mailed it wrong or something, but he said it's at home, and he has a lot of messages, so he has to open those. But, I hope Ethan, that doesn't happen to Ethan, because if that does, I'm going to, like, troll this dude. But, um, anyways, guys. This is the card. This is Garchomp. He's a really, really just beast Pokemon. I think this is like one of my favorite level X's. He does 80 damage with three um, metal energies, and he's a pretty sick Pokemon. And he does 80 damage, so he's a pretty beast, and he just kills, and he's 110 HP, so he l lives a long time. So, Ethan, what do you think of this Garchomp? Uh, that, uh, which, how many Garchomps do you have? I think two. One of those Garchomps has to be mine. Cause yeah, the promo is. is. The but, promo uh, is. Garchomp is a really good card, and I have something to tell Paul real quick. Um, what? Dude, it's only... F okay, how many do you want more? Like, five more cards? Alright, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. So, the next card we... Wait, finish your sentence. So, yeah, it's a really good level X. Uh, I enjoy it very much. Uh, when I actually pulled the Garchomp out of a... Uh, wait a second. Out of a Laquaza C level X 10. It was a really nice pull, and I really like this. Alright, guys. 
So the next card we have up is Cresselium, the Lux. Now this card actually is not that good. It only does 40 damage with two Cyclone Energies. Other than that, it just basically does the Full Moon Dance, which <laughs> it sounds really funny. <laughs> the Full Moon Dance. Why does he dance? I don't know. Um, But it doesn't really... Not the best level X, so... Yeah, and then I have a double of them, so it's just two level X's there. I have a few doubles. So, um, Ethan, what do you think of this Cresselia level X? Uh, it's not the best. I don't like it at all. It's it's my least favorite level X, and it's just not a very good one. It's, it's probably the worst. Yeah. All right, now this level X is actually worse, a lot worse than that one. This level X is called Ez Ez Elf, and this one only has 90 HP. It's a Cyclone Pokemon. And he doesn't do any damage at all. He does not do any damage. If you do one Cyclone Energy, he... So he puts a damage counter on it. So it just gives him a little bit of damage if you get a damage counter on him with one Cyclone Energy. So you have to have a Cyclone Energy just to use this crap level X. So, Ethan, what do you think of this level X? So which one? Uh, Ezelf. Huh? Ezelf. I just said the whole freaking thing of your... No, as elf. He only he doesn't even oh, do damage. Oh uh, yeah, me and Paul were looking at the as elf um, level X today, and uh, I wanted to give it up to Prime Time Pokemon, but then he said, "Nah, it's my only one." So I gave him an agreement, and I said, "Yeah, it's not the greatest one either." Just like the Cresselia, it has it's really it's a really confusing card if you're gonna use it in a battle, and it's it's just not the best. It's it's okay. Yeah. Alright guys, so the next one is very, very cool. This is Electivire FB Level X, my favorite Level X, and everybody else's. So, this card does um, 30 damage, and you if you put one Link Lightning on him, he does 10 more damage. And he has three spots, so this Pokemon can actually do 60 damage, which is pretty dang good. Plus, he has a really astounding HP level, which is 120, and he does really good damage, and he's gigantic, and he's really good at dodging moves. And he has a energy recycle, which means he can, you can search your discard pile for up to three energy cards, so you can take all your energy cards back from him after he uses his power if he does that attack. So it's he's just a really great Pokemon. So what do you think, Ethan? Uh, Left of our level X. Uh, that one was actually mine, but I knew it was Paul's favorite. I knew it was Thanksgiving. And, you know, I might as well just give it to him. Yeah, you know, he always wanted an Electivire level X or an Electivire EX. So you might as well just give it to your best friend, even just a really good friend of mine, Paul, you know. So you might as well just give this favorite Pokemon level X to him. And what do you think of the card, though? Like, what do you think, like, his powers are? Like, oh, how it's, you... it's a great card. Yeah, it's definitely one of the best out there. It's definitely in the top five. Nice. Alright guys, so we're only doing two more cards now. Actually, three more, because we only did three, so we're almost done here. So, we now have the Gengar level X, which is a Gengar level X! That was probably one of the most legendary Gengar level X videos of all time. <laughs> His reaction was hilarious. You can check it out on this channel if you scroll down in the videos. Yeah, it's one of my first. And guys, I've flipping flipped out. This is like... The, Ethan gave me this for my birthday he, when he went with his grandma. I didn't give him the card for his birthday. I just gave him a pack. He actually pulled from a Metagross or Tang and some other metal Pokemon. Uh, Lister. Back. Yeah, and it's such a great card. So this card has compound pain and he can do 60 damage with two cy Cyclone Energies. So he's pretty good and he can teleport. So he's really good. And he levels down, and he can actually level down your Pokemon level X to a hollow. Like, that that might not make sense, but he can turn your level X into something weaker than this. So he'll have, like, less bonus power. He'll be, like, you know, not as good. So, Ethan, what do you think of this card? Yeah, dude, I just gotta tell you something. Okay, hold on. Uh, off speaker. What? Okay, only two more. All right. Okay, Ethan, what do you think of Gengar? Uh, Gengar, yeah, that's definitely in the top seven uh, level X's. It's a great, great card, you know, definitely. It has a really nice design on it. I would get it design wise. Uh, damage isn't all that well, but uh, HP and graphic will be really nice. Yeah, it has 140 HP. I didn't say that. Alright, guys, now the next card is Dialga G level X. It does uh, a remove loss of 80. 
and you need two metal energies and two cyclone energies to make him do the 80 damage. So he's pretty awesome, and he has uh, 120 HP, and he's not a promo. So, Ethan, what do you think of this Dialga? Uh, Dialga? Yeah. Dialga G? Yes. Really good card. Uh, definitely graphics and damage-wise, really nice. Of course, damage, and that's what the every Pokemon card is known for, except for, like, a full legend card, which is, like, graphics-wise. But this card, damage-wise, is a great card. Yeah. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to this channel, because me and Ethan would very well appreciate appreciate that, right? Yeah, thank you. And, um... See you guys on Saturday. Yeah. And, guys, we will be making a video this weekend with us. And another thing, guys, um, there will be a part two to review the rest of these level actions coming up next. So, hope you enjoyed the first part, and say goodbye, Ethan. See you later, guys.